when I was in Cusco, Peru a couple months ago, I met this Australian guy at my hostel named Cam. Shout out to Cam Taylor, by the way. And he was talking about this concept that really resonated deeply with me. He, he said that every experience in life can be considered either fun now or fun later. And that this helped him along his journey and it helped him in life. And it really helps with creating like a positive outlook and having a higher perspective on things. So fun now, th these are the obvious things, things that are fun in the moment. So like a party, any kind of celebratory thing, if you're dancing, anything that you're having fun in the moment is fun now. That's very obvious. But the other side of the coin is fun later. And these are things that are often more challenging experiences. So things that you might even consider bad things that happen to you. So this could be like, for an example from my life, like when I hiked up to Machu Picchu starting at 4.30 a.m. in the pouring rain and it was pouring until noon. So it wasn't really fun while I was doing it. Not at all. It was a struggle. And it was, <laughs> it was kind of miserable because it was just a downpour in the dark, you know? My shoes were soaked. I was just soaked to the core. But it made me a stronger person, and the reward from doing that was well worth it. And it's a good story, too. So that's a fun later experience. So other things that be, can be considered fun later are, here's another example from my life. When me and my friends were traveling in Honduras, um, we were going to this jungle lodge, and... It was getting getting dark outside and we hesitantly took this taxi and the taxi driver pulled over in the middle of nowhere and pulled out a gun. <laughs> and it was such a scary experience. But then he elaborated that the gun wasn't for us and he needed it for protection because the road could be unsafe. So it, it was quite the experience of having like a gunslinging taxi driver in Honduras. And it was really scary at the time, but it makes for such a good story, you know, and afterwards we were so relieved. So that's another example of fun later. So everything, you know, even the most, the worst experiences, they're often the best learning experiences. So they are fun later. And even if you don't learn that much from something, it will still make a good story. So that's fun later as well. You know, even people, you know, that go to war or things like that, they have their war stories, you know. That might not be the best example because they can, uh, <laughs> they can be depressing and, and that. But um, you get what I'm saying, that most things, you know, they may seem bad at the time, but they're really fun later. They could be learning experiences or tremendous stories. So having that perspective of fun, everything being considered fun now or fun later, it allows you to have a more positive outlook on everything and it allows you to not get hung up on the so-called negative things that happen to you. So you view um, negative experiences more as challenges or learning experiences or stories than, you know, some daunting thing that you resist. So that that's a little hack to shift your perspective. Fun now and fun later. All right? Peace, peace. Much love and one love, baby.